Lenders Mortgage Insurance is a one-off fee that is there to protect the bank in case you go into default. Nathan, did you know there was a recent study by ABC where over 40% of people thought Lenders Mortgage Insurance was there to protect them? Yeah, it's crazy the amount of people that do get confused that the Lenders Mortgage Insurance covers the bank and not yourself. So one thing to remember it is a one-off premium. It gets charged at the start of the loan and covers you for as long as you're with that lender. So it's non-transferable between one lender and the next. So let's, let's, let's take a bit of a stop there. So why do you need lenders mortgage insurance in the first place? Why is it there? The first reason is generally because the banks believe there's an inherent risk when lending over 80% of the property value. Now, in some circumstances, we can lend higher for some professions without mortgage insurance. By and large, once you're lending over 80% of the property value, the banks will enforce an insurance, which is mandatory. It's a one-off premium gets charged at the start of the loan. In other words, if you have a lower deposit, the banks think you're a bit higher risk because they're putting more of their money in and there's less of your money in. So they get insurance taken out on you in case something goes wrong with the loan. So Nathan, you know, what are the benefits of the lender's mortgage insurance? Why, why do it? Why pay for that premium? Firstly, it's an opportunity cost. So think about what if you had to save up that 20% deposit? How much longer is it going to take you? If it's going to take you another 18 months, that same property you're looking at today might increase in value. So it gets you in the market today. It gets you off, if you're paying rent, the rental market. So in sense, you might actually work out net-net the same, paying the mortgage insurance, whereas paying someone else's rent, you're still behind. So firstly, it's, a, it's an opportunity cost. It gets you in the market sooner. It also lets you leverage the bank's money further. So you're not using as much as your own deposit in sinking towards the purchase, which if you're investing elsewhere or you've got other uses for the money, might make sense. And we're going to be like ABC, so we're going to balance the books. So there's you know, there's downsides to mortgage insurance. So it costs money, but it also changes between different lenders, doesn't it? Yeah, so not all banks charge the same mortgage insurance premium. So it is important that you search and look around and make sure you compare the costs from mortgage insurance to mortgage insurance with each bank, because between one and another, there can be thousands of dollars difference. Yeah, that's right. And we've got a case study recently where there was a borrower buying a $600,000 property that had 10% deposit. And between you know bank A to bank G, you know a range of five different banks, there was a $6,000 difference in the lender's mortgage insurance, insurance premium. It was crazy. So definitely look at that. Um, and Nathan, I guess just wrapping it up, how can you avoid lender's mortgage insurance? What can you do? Just you know, a couple of quick tips. First is uh, put down 20% deposit to avoid it. That's the most basic one. Another is if you're in a specific category of occupation, patient and it ranges from medical to lawyers to accountants you can go up to 90 percent with some criteria being met that you can get the insurance wave so there's a few there's little crazy there. ones there's sports people and tv entertainers anyway your job could be on the list hit us up so you can find out it's definitely worth looking at but again i agree nathan i think lenders mortgage insurance is a good tool to help you get to the property market really quickly i used it on my first and second home and third actually i have to get in there because it can really it can take you years to save up that extra deposit and lenders mortgage insurance lets you get in now so if you've got any questions on this, hit us up. Let us know at huntergalloway.com.au or leave some comments below. Thanks, guys.